Hello guys, hope you are doing well and uh, in this video I am giving you a very basic introduction to SP Plus and in this introduction I will cover different involvements that SP Plus has as well as different tools and techniques that uh, you can utilize in your modeling and simulation. So here I have my SP Plus open and uh, you can see there are recent models that I have already worked with as well as for the sake of introduction I am going to go with this uh, new tab so you can equally start with a very blank simulation means you have to provide each and everything on your own but there are these uh, shortcut templates as well if you want to work for example let's say polymers so you can choose any set of units here and uh, these uh, templates will have already associated with them uh, appropriate fluid package so for our case, I'm going to go with this blank simulation, which is create. It will take a while. But yes, here we are in the property environment. This is called the property environment because we are supposed to tell the software what are our components. Uh, going to be as well as uh, what will be the method that will be used to evaluate the properties of our components. For component specification, you have this fine tab for electrolytes. If you have electrolytes in your system, you can use this. You can define your own components by this tab, user defined components. So for petroleum, you can import SK data as well. So uh, you can equally type the name of that component for example benzene I'm going to write a benzene press enter now benzene has been added uh, you can equally go with this fine button just type in the information you have about your component you can choose the uh, functional group of your uh, desired component, its molecular weight, you have to provide the range as well as range of boiling point. Uh, you can you can search for numerous components or uh, there are data banks associated with Aspin. So if you want uh, a, a particular data bank to be included in your search, so you can just click on that and choose arrow now it's added you can reorder it as well okay so it will be uh, it will change the preference for aspirin just close this okay so the next thing we are supposed to do is to provide a suitable method for this just click on this specifications a very common question arises here that if you're not sure about which method you should use so a very handy tool is available here and it's called method assistant but before going towards it uh, let me show you some method for here we have method filters uh, this method filter will contain some common property methods and uh, if you are sure if you want to work with chemical if you want to work with coal processing electrolytes environment uh, you can go uh, uh, you can select any of uh, these available uh, methods and for base methods you have this uh, as a common list so as an example let us choose an RTI and uh, yes we are done you can see that now it's blue we are done with the method uh, but uh, again the question arises if you are not certain about which method should I select so just click on this method assistant loading yes so you can take either of these two journeys specify component type let's say uh, we have chemical system uh, uh, the system wants to check that do we have ideality or non ideality in a vapor or gaseous way if suppose that we don't have uh, non ideality so I'm going with this uh, uh, no option and then uh, the system is suggesting that uh, 
uh, we can choose any methods such as NRTL, Wilson, Miniquack, Minipack. Uh, for average events, you can use the probe if you want additional info. Uh, you can uh, check out these as well. So let me close this. So we are done. Uh, remember, there are some advanced options here as well, but I'm not going to discuss them because uh, they are more concerned with the advanced simulations. Uh, some I have already told you that you can specify user components, there are pseudo components as well, but they are all related to uh, the level of simulation that you are working. For basics, uh, component specification and methods are, uh, are enough. enough. Uh, a very, uh, another very useful feature that we have, you can uh, draw a structure here as well. You can choose any atoms, for example, like you have a whole periodic table here, uh, you can choose any uh, atom, for example, uh, we have selected by default here as a carbon atom. You can change bond type, just click here. You have CH4, again click here. You have ethane, again click here. You have now propane here. So in this way, you can draw numerous structures of chemicals. Now we are done with uh, our uh, property environment. The next environment that we are going to discuss is this simulation environment. So let us move on to this. Yes, yeah, so this is called simulation environment. Here we are supposed to provide the aspirin that what our unit operations would be, as well as what are the properties of the stream, what would the exact temperature, pressure, composition, mass flow weights, etc. So we have to tell Aspen here in this environment all these things. So here this is called flow sheet and uh, uh, this is navigation with pen and uh, this is our model palette here. You can find various unit ops. So as an example, uh, let us choose from these columns and uh, there are different types of columns available and remember if you are not uh, sure which type of unit operation should I choose so you can take help from Aspen and it will give you the pros and cons of that uh, column the limitation of that column as well as the uh, for example you can say column it, it uh, uh, applies to reactors pressure changes manipulator exchanges etc so the Aspen will tell you that this column or this reactor uh, have certain advantages and uh, what are the limitation of it so you can go for it. For a, as, a, as an example, I'm going with this red track column. Such one. Let's put it here. Right click. So okay. I mistakenly place these columns. So I'm going to remove them. Just right click and uh, zoom to fit. Okay. This zoom options uh, available in the screen. Okay, so uh, four streams, yes. We have material streams as well as energy streams. Four material streams, just click on this. And now Aspen is telling me where can I connect my stream. So these red arrows are mandatory streams. I have to provide uh, the stream here. And these blue arrows are optional streams. I can uh, provide uh, a stream there or I can uh, leave them equally. So for my feed, just now it's the feed. And uh, this is the liquid district. And now this is your bottom product. We are done. You can see that flow sheet modeling is done. Now these red half circles are telling me that these things uh, I should provide or I must provide in order to solve the problem. And uh, you can see here as well. This is our S1 is our feet. Okay. So a very useful feature. If you are not sure about uh, what should I provide next, is this. Uh, next input button. Just click on this and it will lead you uh, to the next input specification wizard. So just click on this.
and yes it is telling me that I have to provide the specification of my uh, feed stream to my dissipation column okay so you can provide the temperature and pressure remember the aspen is going to calculate the properties all the other properties like enthalpy uh, uh, entropy of the stream by a flash calculation so uh, you can specify the type of flash and uh, just remember the gives over here pressure type vapor fraction you can specify vapor fraction you can specify temperature you can specify pressure uh, you are going to specify your composition here the mass flow of course because we have just one component so our stream is uh, a stream will consist solely of benzene so if you have multiple components then you can specify your composition so you have flash options here uh, yes it's telling me valid phases vapor liquid uh, maximum iterations means uh, means how many iterations should has been do to uh, fix to calculate the properties of the feed okay so you can provide the temperature pressure or etc now again the next thing after provide the specification of the block you will be prompted to enter the specification for the block because you know we have to uh, satisfy a degree of freedom for this block I'm giving you uh, just click on this yes so you have to first tell the aspin that what will be the configuration of your column means uh, calculation type equilibrium and the another mode is kinetic and it means weight based number of stages you have to provide of course condenser condenser means mm, uh, what uh, will be your operation be it will be total condenser or partial vapor partial vapor liquid man uh, reboiler is a cackle type reboiler there is another reboiler that will thermo siphon you can say you can see it here and uh, valid phase is vapor liquid conversion standard uh, standard specification for convergence uh, you have to op provide an operating specification you can choose from any of these just click on that bottom rate just provide the bottom feed rate you can change the units here uh, if you want to specify the uh, flow as mass flow so you can choose it here you can uh, uh, the another specification you can provide it as reflux ratio reflux rate boiler rate boiler ratio etc after specifying the configuration the next thing is to provide is to uh, uh, tell the aspect that where uh, my feed is going to enter in the column of course remember that these specs are going to vary with the choice of unit operation if you choose reactor you will be prompted to enter the stoichiometry the weights but as for, exa for example I chose the column that is why I am prompted to enter all these uh, all these specifications it depends upon your choice of unit top okay then pressure top bottom and uh, condenser pressure this is mandatory I have to provide the condenser pressure these two are optional so after providing all these specification you are ready to go as uh, I haven't provided the specification that is why this is not available but when you will uh, provide all the specifications then this button will uh, will be applicable will be available and uh, just click on this and you will be uh, given your results for results you can go here Result summary you can check the run stats the properties and composition of the streams convergence criteria if you are uh, if you are concerned with the economics of your plant you can check out the operating cost it all depends uh, uh, on your model on what you are seeking for so this is all about today in this video I just covered I, uh, you can say I tried to cover the basics of uh, Aspen Plus uh, it's a very uh, uh, huge software and there are numerous options available so but for the sake of uh, basic introduction I just uh, uh, kept myself over some basic points and uh, uh, your feedback will be highly appreciated uh, uh, 
uh, i hope you will like this video and uh, do subscribe my channel if you have any query post it into the comment thank you